Okay, a group of 10 married couples and three single men found that the mean age X uh, for the women of the 10 women was 41.2 years and the standard deviation of the women's ages was 15.1 years. For the 13 men, the mean age of the men X bar sub N sub M was 46.3 years and the standard deviation is 12.7 years. Also in the question now, we are... Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. What's the question? The question is, find the mean age of the whole group of 23 people. And also this, the individual women's uh, ages are denoted by XW and the individual men's ages are denoted by XM. Um, by first finding summation of X square for the women, summation of X square for the... This should have been for the men. For women and for the men, find the standard deviation of the whole group. Okay, so. Okay, here is the information. Now we need to find the mean of the whole group. Okay, find mean of the whole group. Okay, now to be able to find the mean of the whole group, we're going to find the total age for the women. Okay, and then the total age for the men. Total age for the women, we have, remember, 13, um, how much, 13 women? 10 women. Okay, so 10 times 41.2. So that's going to be 10 times 41.2. Then we have got, uh, that's going to give us 412.0, the total age for the men. The men will have got 13 of them times the mean, 46.3. And that's going to give us uh, <coughs> 601.9. And if you do the sum for the men and the women's age, okay, that's going to come up to 1013.9. Remember, we have 23 people in all. Okay, 10 plus 13 is 23. So now the mean for the whole group, the mean of whole group is going to be the total for the men and the women divided by, okay, let's put this double here, divided by uh, 23. And that's going to give us uh, 44.0826087. Let's say approximately 44.1. Now, that's the mean for the whole group. Now, for the second part, we need to find the summation of x square for the women and summation of x square for the men individually. Summation of x square for the women. Okay, now, what's that going to be? What is the standard deviation for the women? It is 15.1. So, we're going to take 15.1. We're going to use the formula. The standard deviation is equal to the square root of summation of x squared over n minus summation of x over n all squared. Now, by using this formula, we know that the standard deviation is given as 15.1 in the question here. Right, so 15.1 is the standard deviation. 15.1, okay, is going to equal to the square root. Okay, the square root can be taken as square on the other side. Summation of x squared for the women divided by the number of women. We got 10 women. Okay, now then minus uh, the mean for the women. Now what is the mean for the women? It is 41.2, so 41.2 and that all squared. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to get summation of x square is equal to um, 20. Let's take a look. Hang on a second. So I'm going to take 15.1 to the square plus uh, 41.2 square. Okay, and then times 10. That's going to give us 19,254.5. So 19,254.5. We're going to do the same for the men. So summation of x squared for the men. All right, now for the men, we got the standard deviation as 12.7. Okay, so we're going to say 12.7 all squared because we're removing the square root. And on the other side, Summation of x squared for the men divided by 13 men plus, I mean minus, rather, 
um, the standard deviation was now this time um, 46.3 so we're gonna put I mean the mean the mean sorry 46.3 to the square okay, that's the mean okay so send this on the other side you're gonna see that if you perform the calculation you're gonna come up with uh, summation of x square for the men as 29,964.14 okay now that we know the summation of x square for both of them we can say okay the summation of x square for the men plus summation of x square for the women I mean that's the whole group and when you take uh, 19,254 okay point 0.5 plus this 29,964.14 the total is gonna be let's check it out so 19,254.5 plus 29,964.14 49,418.64 now from here how are we going to calculate the standard deviation of the whole group standard deviation for the women and the men is going to be the square root of the summation of x square for the men and women okay summation of x square for men and women 49,000 218.64 divided by the total number of people 23 minus the mean of the whole group which was found to be 44.1 earlier okay so 44.1 and all that to the square so we're going to divide this by 23 okay and then minus 44.1 to the square all right so that's going to be let me check it out again 49 218 0.64 divided by 23 okay, minus 44.1 to the square that's going to give us the square root of um, 47,000 that's a bit quite a lot isn't it so this is um, Okay, my mistake there, I just uh, wrongly put the information to the calculator, wrong amount into the calculator, so that should have been then 195.1308696, and if you do the square root of that, you're going to come up with 13.968, so 13.968, which is basically 14.0, that's the standard deviation of the whole group. There we go. Okay, if you do your calculation, that should be fine. Yeah? All right, so that's fine. Good. So this is uh, done. There we go.